And here we are again, mes amis. Uh, we're about to finish up the tutorial here and go on to uh, actually start the game itself. When we last left off, we had finished bases and units. We're going to do heroes, veterans, scene special powers, and start the actual campaign. Legends of Middle-earth are filled with heroic deeds. The heroes in the battle for Middle-earth are vital to your success in battle. Heroes like Gandalf are stronger than other units and can gain levels as they kill enemies. When left clicking on the hero, we'll let them come. his or her rank is shown on a picture in the Palantir. High-ranking heroes have many abilities. To use an ability, Select the hero and left click on the ability. Then right click on the target. Some heroes have passive abilities that do not need to be clicked, such as Aragorn's leadership ability. Heroes may be summoned from citadels. Left click on a citadel and left click on a hero button to summon a hero. I will guide the strength of men. You can only summon a hero if you have the resources fall in battle, to summon them, and if they die, at your citadel. you have the to have the resources to be able to do it. To. Okay, let's go to veterancy, which is important. As your units vanquish their foes, they will gain veterancy experience. Veteran units deal more damage are more resistant to enemy attacks and will heal themselves. There are multiple levels of veterancy, each offering more powerful bonuses. Veteran infantry units are indicated by accompanying banner carriers. Veteran creatures are indicated by improved armor or war paint. Veteran units will also stay with you throughout your campaign. They will retain their veterancy status and upgrades as you progress from mission to mission. Like units, your buildings may increase their veterancy. The more you use a structure, the more potent it becomes. Certain units or upgrades cannot be built until a building gains veterancy. Tower guards, for instance, cannot be trained until the Gondor Barracks increases its veterancy level. We guard the White Tower! Also, um, <clears throat> it's very important, once a um, resource creator, such as a farm or a slaughterhouse, in the case of the evil campaign, is, or a lumber mill, is, a, is operational, it continues to put out resources which are credited to you automatically, unless it's destroyed. So there we are. The power of the One Ring and the power of the Even Star can change the fate of Middle Earth. The One Ring or the Even Star grows in power as you destroy your enemies or conquer regions of Middle Earth. The amount of power points you have available to spend will appear on the One Ring or Even Star at the top of the Palantir. Left click on the One Ring or Even Star when in battle mode to view your powers. When you have collected enough power points, you may select new powers to aid you. Your purchased powers will appear on the left side of the screen just above the Palantir. When your power is ready, you may left click on it to use it. Some powers, such as Gandalf the White, are passive and do not need to be clicked on again once they are purchased. Thank you for watching the Battle for Middle Earth tutorial. You're Follow very welcome. Follow guidelines and you will soon dominate the whole of the land. Good luck. Well, that's what we're all about, aren't we, on the, on the evil side? Domination. Um, we have about ten minutes left, so... Let's see if we can get into the uh, a little bit of the evil campaign. And uh, 
Let's see, what did I want to say? There was something else here. Well, it'll come to me. <clears throat> I'm going to exit the tutorial here. And I will be playing this on the easy level. Oh, that's not it. On the easy level. <clears throat> Um, because <clears throat> I want this to be amusing and entertaining for you folks and I don't think it's gonna be if you have to watch me batting my head against the wall time and time again in a difficult campaign. See my philosophy with LPs is that in my case they're not to show off my skills as a gamer, they're to give you an insight into the game. What it looks like, how it plays, and how much fun it is. Fun is what it's all about, so let's go on to the uh, campaign. And we will choose the evil campaign. You can also save your campaign and reload it, which we'll be doing later on. So here we go, the evil campaign. On easy. We've got about eight minutes at this point. So I'm going to click the mouse button to begin. This is the living world. The Dark Lord Sauron must reclaim the One Ring. With his power Lee. unleashed, he will dominate all of Middle-earth. Only Gondor lies between Mordor and the lands beyond. Once it falls, all of Middle-earth shall be Sauron's. There's Rohan, Isengard. Lands of the Horse Lords. Soon these lands will have a new master. So now I'm supposed to click on Isengard, and we'll start this. Isengard. Once allied to Gondor, this land now serves a new master, the Dark Lord Sauron. All right, with seven minutes to go here, I can at least get started on this. Nice detail on the tower there. And here we go. <clears throat> My goal is to build a hundred brooks here. We have much work to do. Feed our forges with wood from the great forests of Fangorn. With enough fuel, we shall breed a mighty army of orcs. So I want to locate a, um, a building site. I don't see one, so I guess I'll just use the... Uh, is there an existing rook pit? I don't see one. Hmm. should be able to build an orc pit somewhere, but I don't see it. We've uncovered a building foundation. Oh. Let's build a structure. How convenient. There we are. I have only the one choice at this point. Our 
crossbows can take down the enemy from great distance. Oh, I have one uh, tower here. So I can get a war chant or vision of the palantir. I think I'm going to get the war chant. That increases damage. And as soon as my building is complete, notice my resources on the left are going up. That's because these woodlots or lumber mills are creating more resources as we go. Now we're building our Uruk pit and it's nearly done. So let's build us some Uruks. So let's see what happens here. Should be another building site somewhere. So I can build another lumber mill if necessary. A Rohan scout force. Mm -hmm. Leave them to me. We spotted the enemy. This you doesn't the show light, up Solomon. in the film, but my lag has gone really, really awful. None shall oppose us. Enough trees have been cleared for another building. Where's the build site? Oh, there it is. Let's build another sawmill. My Uruk should be coming out of there very soon now. There we are. That's all the time I have. See you next time.